As the saying goes, one man's trash is another's treasure. And that holds true for Lisa Vetter and Paul Seifert. They've been turning unwanted items into pieces of art. Here's their story from Out in 21 Country. This is found object functional art. It's made out of found materials and it's primarily functional. It's a lamp, it's a clock, it's a toilet paper holder, it's a candle stand, it's, you know, it does something, but it's fun. The Art Farm in Spencerville produces a harvest all year long. Artist Lisa Vetter and Paul Seifert have been disassembling discarded items and putting them back together into unique art pieces for more than 20 years. I'll, I'll build something and then Lisa will come in and change it and or then I'll come back in and change it and and then it find, all of a sudden it's like, oh, that works perfect. Yeah, we don't always know where, where we're going with something. It just sort of evolves. Their studio is overflowing with their supplies from decades of collecting. Thrift stores, antique stores, estate sales, garage sales. You know, there's a lot of places where, where I find things, and sometimes things come to us. Where the old will be turned into something new. I may have drilled through a couple collectible tins or something. <laughs> but what are you going to do? <laughs> While they usually spend the spring and summer selling at art fairs around the country, the pandemic dramatically shifted their plans in 2020. We kind of challenged ourselves to work with what we've got. We have a ton of stuff. So let's just look at what we have and just keep creating with things, things that we have. For the time being, they're selling their creations and the work of fellow artists in their gallery. We're all in this together. <laughs> we know so many incredibly talented artists from doing art fairs for so many years. So that's how we put the pop up together. In addition to the aesthetics and functionality of the items Vetter and Seifert make at the art farm, there is a deeper meaning within each repurposed piece. It, we have such a throwaway society and there is no away. When you throw something away, it's out of your sight, but it's going somewhere else. Like the space on this planet is not infinite. The resources on this planet are not infinite. Going out and buying something because something broke, is just, it just doesn't seem right to me. I hope people take away that the, they can see you can live life simply and you need a lot of things to um, make yourself content. So the next time you do some spring cleaning, consider this. Your trash may be veteran Seifert's next project. Or don't throw something away. If you don't want it, if it's still usable, donate it to your favorite thrift store and someone else might be looking for it. Reporting in 21 Country, I'm Krista Miller. And you can stop by Lisa and Paul's shop by request. Their Spring Equinox pop-up gallery is March 19th through the 21st. Tickets are free, and we've put all that information on our website, WPTA21.com.